Reality show star Tamar Braxton was rushed to a Los Angeles hospital following a reported suicide attempt. Tamar's boyfriend, David Edifeso, allegedly found her unresponsive at the hotel they were staying in and said she may have overdosed after drinking and taking prescription pills. Now, at the time of our taping today, Tamar is reportedly stable but is still unconscious. Tamar's new show, Get Your Life, is set to premiere on WeTV at the end of the month. It's the same network that aired the hit series Braxton Family Values and Erica. I was reading some um, different reports from sources and then finally I found something from her own spokesperson. And her own spokesperson said that Tamar and this is all she said, had a very emotional and rough day that day. Mm -hmm. So something was the precipice, something led to this, and somebody that's dealt with depression and suicidal thoughts, my heart just breaks for her. Yeah, I, this really punched me in the gut because um, back in June, a woman named Jazz Waters, who was a screenwriter for some of your favorite sitcoms, um, took her life. She was also um, an Illinois girl like myself, and I just really saw myself in her. And I also feel that same way about Tamar. And I think we feel like we see these people, you know, in the spotlight, and she's so confident. and you wonder if she can get in that place, could I get in that place? And the truth is, we are all dealing with this crazy battle because we're in isolation and our mental health is so important that we take care of ourselves right now. So I do want people to take note of these numbers that we're giving for prevention, our suicide prevention hotlines. I do want people to reach out to loved ones and know that you are not alone and you're not the only one who's feeling uncertain in these times. Yeah, Al. Yeah, I mean, Erica, you were saying it, and I don't even know if you knew what you were saying. It. You were saying you feel, you feel. There are people on this planet that just feel, and they, they emote, they give out the good, but they also take in the bad, and in a lot of ways, uh, they internalize it a lot more than people that are less emotional. And so the people that are the most loving, that are the most giving, would you usually read when somebody is, has taken their own life that they'll say, oh, they would have given you the shirt off their back. They would have looked out for you. They would have been your best friend it's because they're people that feel and those people also feel that that pain and that hurt and that fear coming back at them so we have to protect those people because they are there they are truly our unicorns we love just like you too well, thank just you Al. Like just you, like Al. you exactly <laughs> so empathetic and it reminds me of Robin Williams just how everybody was so shocked the people that knew him because he was such a loving soul um, again let's just put up that full screen again please anybody that is suffering out there you're not alone Okay, depression, it does not discriminate. So please go ahead and utilize those resources and, um, and I hope that you can get the treatment that you seek.